we have an urgent breaking news coming out. Please share this video. The New York Post is reporting that scientists are puzzled by a massive, mysterious hot blob beneath the eastern U.S. that appears to be moving towards New York. Hold on. We actually talked about this last night. This information is coming out right now, 4.14 p.m. August 4, 2025. And the New York Post is sharing the information here. We're going to see what's going on, guys. This is a very important update. Massive, mysterious hot blob beneath eastern U.S. is moving towards New York. And if you guys missed my live stream, this is the one right here. We went live last night. And, um... The title to this uh, live stream, there is something beneath New York and the East Coast. You need to hear this. And, um, yeah, so a lot of uh, news media is catching up to it now. And this thing is just gain gaining a lot of views. So I mentioned this yesterday, last night in my live stream. I believe there is something beneath uh, New York, and I believe it is hot. Hot. We're talking about like Sodom and Gomorrah stuff here. All right. So my wife had a dream last year. She said that in her dream, she went to New York and she saw the tall buildings and, you know, Times Square. And then the ground just opened up and there was lava. And she said that uh, there was also flying objects, missiles and stuff like that. And she said that people were running and screaming. Um... And she said, uh, I was telling the people to repent, repent, repent. But uh, they were just running and screaming while NY was being opened up. And you got this massive uh, lava going on. Now, New York, there's no volcano out there in New York. So something is underneath that apple. And we're going to find out. All right, guys, before I start, for those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, we do have the Cash App link and the PayPal link in the comments box and also the description box. Thank you so much for your support. Massive mysterious hot blob beneath eastern u.s is moving towards new york all right so we are getting all this crazy news guys you got asteroid and aliens that's coming towards us flash flood earthquake volcano you got a lot of stuff going on here 2025 is this the start of goo york city uk scientists and hey for those of you that have been to new york for those of you that you know live in New York, you guys know that the ground, you see all the steam and everything. I mean, it's like NY. You got something underneath. You got all that shaking going on in a subway. You, the water just coming through the walls and everything. Uh, water uh, falling off the roof. It's like the entire region is about to snap. The UK scientists have discovered a massive blob of rock underneath the Appalachian Mountains that's slowly oozing its way towards New York City. Per a slimy new study published in a journal Geology, this thermal upwelling has long been a puzzling feature of North American geology. The study's lead author, Tom Dernon, professor of Earth Science at the University of Southampton, said in a statement, Officially dubbed the Northern Appalachian Anomaly, this subterranean slime ball sits 125 feet deep underground and extends 220 miles across New England. The team reportedly discovered it using seismic tomography, a method akin to taking a giant CAT scan of the Earth. So, you know how you get a CAT scan or x-ray and stuff like that? They see, like, you know, again, whatever, like, broken bones and stuff like that. Well, they did a CAT scan on the East Coast. Come to find out there's something big beneath NY. Something massive. 
Now, the question is that 3.0 earthquake, a lot of people out there in NY and New Jersey were saying it didn't feel like an earthquake. It felt like a boom sound, like boom, and then you, after that, it was a vibration. And uh, I, again, I've never been like in a spot like that, like the ground movement. I live in Florida, so we don't see earthquake here. We see hurricanes and alligators and stuff like that. But um, again, um, if you guys know anything about earthquake, leave comments down below. Does it feel like what New Yorkers are saying, boom sound and vibration? Uh, again, like I said, I don't know anything about earthquake, but uh, New Yorkers are saying that it didn't feel like an earthquake. It felt like something else, like there's something underground trying to escape. Or, but um, give me a second here. I have to pause this stuff. Advertisement. All right. So while originally thought to have formed 180 million years ago when North America broke away from Africa. The new research suggests that it appeared 80 million years ago when the precursor land masses to Canada and Greenland were splitting apart. Okay, let's stop here for a moment. We need to kind of uh, chill for a moment with this 100 plus 80 million stuff here. Okay, so in the Old Testament, it seems like there was only one continent in the Old Testament. You know, after the flood and all that, uh, again, you had uh, Nimrod. Nimrod was uh, a wicked ruler. And he was a warrior. And so, I think he was a warrior, if I'm not mistaken. And so, he heard about the flood and everything. And he told the people, hey, I would take care of every single one of you. We, together, are going to form some kind of a... They built a a Babel Tower that could reach the Earth atmosphere. So next time the world flood, it won't reach up there. <laughs> but that didn't work. So according to uh, some, again, um, people that study uh, uh, the uh, scriptures and and um, the time frame, the year and everything, it wasn't millions of years. It was like 5,000 years. And, um, you know, God told the people to go out. And spread out, spread out. You guys are just in this one spot. Come to find out, poof. And there was all these continents now. So if you look at the map, it's like a puzzle. It used to be one. And it seems like the Pacific Ring of Fire could be God's fist. All right. So give me a second here. It's very good to read the book of Genesis amazing amazing how everything began it lies beneath part of the continent that's been tectonically quiet for 180 million years i don't know where they get these numbers um so the idea that it was just a leftover from when the land land mass broke apart never quite stacked up now, here's another reason why they think it's 180 million years. Remember, when um, during the time of Noah, when the world was completely uh, completely flooded, we're talking about some very powerful water here, all right? And, and it's set for a very long time. Um, and it seems like it's very powerful salt water, and it just sat and sat, and once it just went down and... Noah saw land. That's when uh, it seems like the rocks, the mountain, everything from being brand new, it just became like it's millions of years old. It's like the Titanic. If you look at the Titanic, it's sitting in the Atlantic Ocean and it looks like it's thousands of years old, but it's only 100 years old. Salt. Make it look old. In a study published last year in the journal Nature, the team described how this molten mantle molasses is created when hot rock sitting just outside the earth core rises to fill cracks and a crust caused by land rifts. When this material eventually cools, it sinks or drips, causing a ripple effect along the lower surfaces of the continent that has been called mantle waves. Here's a picture. You 
you know, scripture says that there would be nation against nation. Jesus said that there will be mountain move from its places. Things will shift. Supposedly, excuse me, supposedly 80 million years ago. Hmm. It says here, um, by using a combination of direct geolo geological observation, computer simulation, and model play te tectonics and geodynamic, the team was able to replicate the formation of a hot blob 1,120 miles northeast of the Appalachians. They found that the primordial ooze was moving southwest at a clip of 12 miles every million years. All right, now these numbers are getting too cuckoo now. Fortunately, we don't need to prepare for an a blob. What a blob of place. Okay, apocalypse, excuse me. A blob a blob of place <laughs> anytime soon. So at this rate, researchers estimate that Blobzilla will reach New York City in ten to fifteen million years. I'm sorry, guys, but uh, again, these experts are just, they shouldn't be expert, period. I'm sorry, they should not be expert. First, uh, it, it just, those millions, guys, it, it just crazy number. A lot of these experts, they don't read scriptures. It takes a while for underground movement to make a splash in the Big Apple. Mm-mm. -uh. It would take 15 million years, 10 or 15 million years to reach NY. At this point, I feel like uh, we are definitely in a time that God has given up people to reprobate mind. Uh, for those of you that don't know what's a reprobate mind, God gives people up to sin. God give up people to sin, meaning that you are separated from God. So what happens when you are separated from God? You become fools. You, again, you no longer know the truth. You think you know it, but you don't. It's a malfunction mind. John MacArthur said it. Uh, rest in peace with John MacArthur. He said, reprobate mind is basically a, a malfunction. You malfunction. You don't know the truth anymore. You come out with all these crazy ideas. It's like that one scientist says there's an alien spaceship coming towards us. I mean, these, you're supposed to be experts. And they sound like... I don't want to say the name, but you guys know. All right, so the simulation also showed that the blob may have helped uplift the Appalachians, explaining why the mountain range remains so high despite significant erosion over the past 20 million years. The heat at the base of a continent can weaken and remove part of its dense root, making the continent lighter and more buoyant like a hot air balloon rising after dropping is its ballast, said Gernon, this would have caused the ancient mountains to be further uplifted over the past millions million years, excuse me. After the blob departs the region, however, the earth crust will settle once again and erosion will co uh, continue to wear down the mountains gradually lowering their elevation. This seismic syrup is perhaps also the reason why rare volcanic eruption can help bring diamonds to the surface, per the study. While the study was predominantly centered around the NAA, the team also focused on its twin, an anomalous, hot zone situated beneath north central Greenland. This tectonic lava lamp, which was created during the same continental uh, fragmentation 
but on the other side of the rift, like a molasses, molasses Y mirror, generates heat current at the base of the mouse thick ice sheet, influencing how the ice moves and melts today. Ancient heat anomalies continues to play a key role in shaping the dynamic of continental ice sheets from below. Even though the surface shows little sign of ongoing tectonic deep below, the consequences of ancient rifting are still playing out. All right, here's the thing, guys. I do believe that there is, you know, movement, lava, this tectonics, and so many other things beneath us. Strange stuff beneath us. Even the Bible says that hell is below us. But when it comes to millions of years, I feel like these people, are just, I mean, I just don't follow that. But I do believe what the Bible says, that mountains will be moved from its places. I do believe that the stars falling from the heavens are the fallen angels. And Wormwood is a fallen angel. I do believe so. Uh, I do believe that uh, the, the heavens elements will burn with fire, meaning the universe at the very end, once everything is fulfilled. Um, I do believe that uh, we're going to see strong earthquake. But when it comes to 100 plus 80 million years, something like that, I, again, it ain't going to happen. Uh, I just don't see that happening. Uh, the world spinning for like billions of years. According to the scriptures I read, the King James Version, uh, again, the creation happened 5,000 something years ago. Everything. When God created the heavens and the earth. All right. Um, but uh, again, these are just supposedly experts. This is their numbers. But a lot of it, a lot of this stuff they put out is true when it comes to movements and the sun and so many other things. But uh, when it comes to their belief, I stay far away from it. But when it comes to their studying of uh, the planet, is you know, a lot of it is true. Anyway, guys, uh, this is it. I will leave this link in the description box. Massive, mysterious hot blob beneath eastern U.S. is moving towards New York. It's going to reach NY, according to experts, in millions of years. I believe the hot blob is already under the apple. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $5 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream once a week. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.